Hello everyone, my name is Bryn, welcome back to my channel. Here on Bryn Darcy we talk about life and study at the Australian National University in Canberra, obviously in Australia, and what your life would be like if you studied here as well. In today's video I decided that I would sort of broach a topic that lots of people have been asking me about recently and that's how do I uh, like enroll in my classes, how do I use ISIS, what's going on, please help. Um, so I thought I'd make this quick video just discussing how you should uh, enroll in your classes and the important things to note on ISIS from my perspective. I think the ANU has some tutorials as well on how to do it uh, and you can always also call your college if you have any problems as well and I recommend doing that. Um, but yeah, on to the video. Okay, so let's start by searching um, a degree. So we should say um, a new PPE. Okay, so we've got an example degree here. Uh, and as you'll see, uh, it's got the title of the degree. Uh, you'll have like the overview, all of that stuff. Uh, in order to find the subjects within your degree, so some degrees have uh, different mandatory subjects that you have to complete. Um, we can head on over to the study tab just here uh, and we'll see the program requirements. So for this particular program, it's 144 units, which is a typical number. A uh, maximum of 60 units can come from the completion of 1,000 level courses, so that's typically 10 subjects. And a minimum of 84 units must come from the completion of 2,000 and 3,000 level courses. Uh, you can also see here that these are subjects that they must include. So these are compulsory courses. You must complete all of these uh, courses. And then uh, as we move further down, you get to choose out of a list of courses. Um, so we have, uh, you get to choose one of these courses, one of these courses, uh, at least one of these, um, at least one of these, and the list goes on. You also then get to choose electives. Down here, you'll see some uh, study options. So this is what the ANU suggests you do. I'm about to film another video about how you can plan your degree um, in order to meet the ANU requirements and also so you enjoy it. Um, and I will, uh, I will link that above if I have made it uh, by the time this video comes out. If not, just check out my channel to find it. Um, but basically, this is what the ANU suggests you could do for, for your studies. Uh, anyway, so just that's a broad overview of the degree. Let's say we're going to choose to do this uh, microeconomics one um, in our first semester at ANU. So this is the course tab. So this, uh, this explains uh, what subject it is uh, up the top, explains the learning outcomes. Um, here it shows your, in the study tab, it shows your assessments, so the different types of assessments that you have uh, and how much they're valued at. Uh, it will also say here in the prescribed text tab any textbooks that you need. Uh, and here, fees, how much it costs. And here we will find the class number. This is the important thing for enrolling in subjects analysis. So here you will see the first semester uh, of 2022, we have a class number and the date, and we also have the class summary. Class summary is interesting. Uh, I will discuss that with you just for interest, uh, but the class summary actually breaks down exactly what the class is. So it's like the course overview, I suppose. It says uh, exactly what the assessments are. Um, it might not have the question, but it will explain um, like the marking guidelines and everything about the assessment. Um, yeah, it explains exactly what you need to be doing for the course. It's super useful to look at. If you're not sure if you want to take a course or not, if they have them, they're great to look at. But that's just an aside anyway. <laughs> um, so we've got here the class number. So for this class, it's 4311. And that is the number for the first semester. 
So we have to remember that class number. Um, and we are going to now look up uh, ANU ISIS. Uh, ensure that you put ANU ISIS um, for obvious reasons. I'm really unsure why they chose the name because it's not a great name. So here you will see we are signing into ISIS. Mine signs in immediately, other people's might not. So uh, up here you will see the payments due. The fees that you owe are usually the student support and administration fees or SSAF fees. You can defer these through HEX as well. Um, and also you will see another number if you're on HEX, uh, but that is your HEX number and it will be deferred until uh, after the census date, it gets deferred and you don't have to worry about it. But you can always call and check with the finance team if there's any problem. So down here on this side, you will see some quick links uh, and up on the left, you will usually see like a little navigation symbol. Um, so to enroll in your courses, we're going to click course enrollment. Uh, and then we click the particular session that we want to enroll in. Um, and here, as you will see, we have uh, the list of classes to enroll in. So to add a class, you click here on add. You add your class number. Um, so for this particular class, if we go back to microeconomics, we remember it's 4311. So we add 4311. You go add class uh, and it pops up here and then you click continue um, and it will process your enrollment. Uh, and then it will pop up here on your course list of the courses that you are doing. Um, and yeah, that's basically it for enrolling in a class. Um, after you've enrolled in the class, you can jump on Waddle and have a look at each of the course pages. Okay, so now we're logging into Bottle and we can have a quick look at the different classes uh, that we have available. So these are just classes that I've signed up for. You guys obviously sign up for the classes that are for you. Um, so yeah, you can have a look through. Uh, it explains uh, all of the readings. Okay, so as you'll see, this is one of the courses I'm doing this semester. Uh, just goes ahead and shows you all of the resources uh, that you might need during the semester. So yeah, that's basically it for my introduction to the ISIS and Waddle page. If you have any questions about them, uh, reach out to me. I'll try and help. If I'm not able to help, uh, the ANU uh, team is always there to help, obviously, um, as that's their job. Uh, as always, I'm not associated with the ANU. I'm just sharing my experience and what I've done. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video and I will talk to you again soon.